SSH, or Secure Shell, is the network protocol used to connect to Linux systems. By default, Windows doesn't include an SSH client. Mac does, so Mac users can go ahead and skip over this video. In order to get an SSH client on Windows, you can install GET, that's G-I-T. GET is used for version control, but we're interested in the SSH client that it ships with. So we're going to go ahead and download it, and be sure to use the uh, link that's in the documentation. All right, we'll navigate to Git, and we're installing it for Windows. And we'll download it here. Go ahead and launch that installer. For the most part, we're going to answer the defaults. There's only one place where we're going to do something a slightly different. Just click on Next. Accept that default. This is fine. Yep, that's fine. And here's what we want to pay attention to. We want to use Git and optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. This will allow us to access the SSH command or the SSH client that ships with Git. So we'll go ahead and select that option. Click Next. And again, we'll just finish out with the defaults here. All right, and through the magic of video editing, I just cut that out so you didn't have to sit there and watch all those files extract. But that pretty much completes the installation. We'll go ahead and click Finish. And then if we opened up a command prompt, we'll just search for command prompt. And here we go. So if you type in SSH, you'll get some sort of feedback here, and that means an SSH client is installed on Windows, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and install the next piece of software, which is VirtualBox. We'll go ahead and use this same website here, VirtualBox. We're running Windows, and we'll go ahead and download it right there. All right, I'll launch the installer, and for this one, we're going to accept all the defaults, nothing special to do here. Just keep clicking Next. Answer Yes. Okay, and we're done. We'll go ahead and click on Finish. And there you have it, there's VirtualBox running, so we know it's installed correctly. I'll go ahead and close out of this. And then there's one last piece of software we're going to install today, and that is Vagrant. We'll go to Vagrant, we're running Windows, and we'll download the installer here. And again, for this install, we're also going to just accept the defaults. It's downloaded, I'm going to launch the installer. I'll just click Next. Okay, we're done installing. We'll go ahead and click Finish. And we'll go ahead and reboot our system. All right, and when the system reboots, you'll have Vagrant installed, VirtualBox, and an SSH client, and you'll be ready for the rest of the project and for the rest of the course.